everything in this plant is team oriented. There's a complete melding together of the minds, you might say, between labor and management. We're both after a common goal, and that's to build a good car. assembly plant is trying something new. They're currently the only Ford plant offering tours to the public. As FCN's Cur Mary Curran explains, the guides make the tours a success. Ken Worler remembers his 30 years at the Wixom plant vividly, and now he and more than a dozen other retirees come back to the plant each Friday to share those memories with visitors as they guide plant tours. Ford Motor was good to us, and I, f I feel uh, uh, this is something in re repayment, and uh, it's uh, meeting the people that we worked with also. Each week, 45 people see how the Lincoln Continentals and town cars are produced from start to finish. And guides like this senior with the most seniority always add a personal touch. I've been here since this plant started, so I can show them the difference in the sizes because it's uh, almost twice of what it was when it started. On this day, the retirees' knowledge really proved useful because the visitors happened to be new Ford employees. We walked down the, the line here and uh, 
our tour guide said, well, when I came here 30 years ago, they put the doors on by hand, but now they're doing it by machine. I like to show them the job that I previously had at, uh, when I, 30 years ago, uh, engine decking, uh, which is a fascinating job. The Wixom plant has offered the tours for just over a year now and has never had a shortage of retiree volunteers. With that kind of enthusiasm, it looks like they'll be giving tours for many years to come. In Wixom, Michigan, I'm Mary Curran for FCN News. Hello everyone, we're bringing you this special edition of FCN News from the 1990 North American International Auto Show in Detroit. Well, the big news today, Ford has done it again. For the fourth time in the past five years, the company has landed Motor Trend Magazine's Car of the Year Award. Now, that's something no other auto company has ever done before. We begin with team coverage with FCN's Bill Collins and Audrey Barnes. This is the auto industry's most prestigious award, and the Lincoln Town Car wins a place in automotive history, becoming Motor Trend's 1990 Car of the Year. Winning the award uh, is something really very special. We might even call it the Motor Trend Trend uh, because the Ford Motor Company and all the people that work for that company uh, have been the recipient of this award for the last five years. This is the first time ever that a Lincoln has won the award and it's the first time in 38 years that a four-door luxury model has won it. It says a lot about the company as well as the car. I think when you look at Ford winning, it shows a a company that's on the move and uh, that is product driven. Motor Trend editors said the decision this year was harder than ever and the all new Lincoln Town Car won their top honor for its ride, handling and comfort. It beat out models including the Buick Regal four-door, Chevrolet Lumina and the Pontiac Grand Prix four-door, proving once again that Lincoln is what a luxury car should be. I think it says to the competition that the Ford Motor Company is a formidable foe. I think it says that the Ford Motor Company is doing a good job on their products, uh, that we are building products that can compete with any product in the world. From the North American International Auto Show, I'm Audrey Barnes for FCN News. This is home for the 1990 Car of the Year, the Wixom Assembly Plant, a major profit center for Ford that also produces the Lincoln Continental and Mark 7. The 3,900 employees here will tell you that the award is a victory for the plant. I think it's fantastic, you know, that this has occurred, you know, and it's, uh, it's great for everyone that works here. The 1990 Lincoln Town Car was launched at quality levels that matched its predecessor, the 89 Town Car. And there were several reasons why Wixom employees were able to do that. The hourly employees had a lot, a lot of input and changes uh, with the car. We got to drive it, which... Um, I think in a lot of the other automobile plants, uh, they don't get to drive the car that they build. I could sum it up in two words, it's probably a consistency on perfection. The difference in here, within this plant, what it was previous years ago, is the dedication. The next phase of Wixom's luxury car evolution is April 4th, when the plant's new $300 million paint facility reaches full capacity. Hello everyone. Well, Lincoln Mercury couldn't have done it without them. The employees who work at the Wixom Assembly Plant and helped the division win a very prestigious award. FCN's Mike Vaughn reports. 1990 Lincoln Town Car, Motor Trend Magazine's Car of the Year. Engineering and design are important to winning this award, but according to the magazine, so are the people who build the car. And that's why Motor Trend came here, Wixom Assembly, the home of the town car. A very important ingredient, as far as the editors of Motor Trend Magazine are concerned, is the automobile being put together. Because when we take these automobiles in the deserts of California and we test them, we put them to their limits. For management and hourly employees at Wixom, there was pride in the award, pride in the car, and pride in their own efforts, which made the town car possible. I think it's one of the greatest achievements for the workers and the company that it ever happened to Wixom. It's a combination of all of us, the style of the car. This is the first time in 38 years that a four-door luxury sedan has won the coveted award of Motor Trend Car of the Year. Motor Trend says employees of Wixom Assembly can take much of the credit for what it calls a genuine new star. In Wixom, Michigan, I'm Mike Vaughn for FCN News. Eight of the employees who worked on this car received a very special honor. In a ceremony Friday, each of the Team Town Car members getting a replica of the Motor Trend Award. As head of the Ford team, Chairman Donald Peterson was honored for his leadership, helping Ford win the award four times in five years. Awards and victories 
are fleeting. Uh, but we've learned at Ford, the commitment to teamwork brings the rewards of success and satisfying relationships that are far, far more important, and far more permanent. Peterson receiving a plaque listing the four Motor Trend winners and an authentic Simpson racing helmet. The company's 1992 Lincolns began rolling off the line Friday at Wixom Assembly in Michigan. Plant manager Paul Nolan and UAW Local 36 president and chairman Larry Miller shook hands amidst a group of employees during Job One ceremonies at the plant. I know that the team spirit, the dedication to the quality of all the hourly and salaried employees here at Wixom, we're going to do everything we can to build a very top-notch product you know, for the customer. We've been fortunate for the last year, unlike our brothers and sisters, uh, we've been fortunate enough to be working. That's the confidence our customers have in our cars. Among the changes in the 92 Lincolns is a new electronic transmission for the town car, with production of those models beginning later this year. started off as a quality problem here at Wixom Assembly Plant with improper fitting of the chrome molding around the windows and vehicle doors. Then it was found that the operators were having wrist and hand problems from the equipment used to install the molding. We used a rivet gun and it was heavy, it was hard to pull, it was hard on our arms and hands, and the rivets would get stuck. Company ergonomists estimate that on-the-job injuries cost the company $200 a day to replace the worker and pay for his medical costs. To really maintain production rates, we had to overman all four of these operations here. There, there are certain days uh, we actually had to put two people on each job, which normally there'd be a one-person operation. So the plant switched from using rivets to hold the chrome window molding to using screws. The person's not using their wrist near as much as they used to have to. They used to have to manipulate the rivet gun to align the uh, rivet with the hole and then force the rivet through the hole and pull the parts together. Now they can use the screw to do most of the work for them. Once they get the screw started into the hole, they use the screw to pull the two parts together. The solution we found by using screws versus pop rivets, we improved the quality of the car by providing a better fitting molding, which your customer actually sees. The Wixom Plant and Body and Assembly Division are credited with having among the best ergonomics programs in the company. In Wixom, Michigan, I'm Brenda Hines for FCN News. For over a year now, employees at the Wixom, Michigan Assembly Plant have been preparing for the day they'll begin building the new Lincoln Mark 8. With their input, they've turned out what they call a production-friendly vehicle. Ergonomically, the operator can get to a part, he can get in and out quickly. Uh, the car is designed sequence-wise so the operator doesn't have to go in and under another part. 
and that was one of the fallacies of the old car. Employees here at the Wix and Michigan Assembly Plant have suggested 1,800 changes to the new Mark 8 and its manufacturing process. So far, design and engineering have implemented 1,000 of those suggestions. For the past year, a core team of 28 employees from all areas of the plant has been involved in the development of Mark 8 prototypes at the pilot plant. And that input has resulted in a list of so-called significant characteristics, items getting special scrutiny because they could cause customer concern in the future. And the team devised improvements that will make it easier for operators to build the new vehicle. That's so much better than the way it's been in the past. Uh, years ago when, uh, you know, your opinion didn't mean a whole lot when, from an hourly point of view. Now they, they're realizing that uh, we're the experts in building these cars and that our, uh, our advice works in building a better car. As part of the team building process, about 300 of the employees who will build the new Mark 8 are already training for their new jobs. They also help set up the jobs and their workstations. And daily meetings like this one keep everyone apprised of the company's strategy for making its latest model line a world-class product. And we're very optimistic that uh, everyone pulling together as a true team uh, will take on uh, their individual assignments and we'll bring this one home. Involved in the ceremony this morning, the actual drive off of the line. Uh, Mr. Hagenlocker and Ernie Lofton will share the first vehicle. In the second, Keith McGee, the General Motors Lincoln Mercury Division Director, will share the vehicle with Fred Simon, the Program Manager of the Continental. Along with Ernie Lofton, Vice President Director of the UAW National Ford Department. The second car will be driven by Keith McGee, Vice President General Manager of Lincoln Mercury Division. And the third car by Paul Nolan, our plant manager here at Wixom, and Richard Greenfield, President and Chairman of Wixom Lo uh, Local 36. And now I believe we're ready for the drive-off ceremony. As you just heard, the third vehicle, Paul Nolan and Rich Greenfield will share. the line, driven by Ed Hagenlocker, Keith McGee, and Paul Nolan. Job one for the 1995 Lincoln Continental. Three driven off officially for the uh, job one ceremony this morning. You heard in some of the comments the importance of this vehicle line and the work that has gone into it. The production will be a target production of 60,000 units a year. Of course, Wixom is also home to the Lincoln Town Car and the Mark 8 as well. But job one of the Continental officially has been brought in. This vehicle, as you had heard, has gone overboard in terms of the design of trying to touch the customer. And there have been several uh, adaptations. One of the uh, bigger aspects of the vehicle's interior is in regards to a computer memory preset. One of the many things that try and personalize this vehicle and touch the customer in its production. You have been watching live Job One ceremonies as the all-new 1995 Lincoln Continental begins coming off the line here at Wixom. This is Ellen Akins reporting from the 1997 Lincoln Mark 8 Job One at Wixom Assembly. The luxury sport vehicle is redesigned this year. There are many changes, both inside and out. On the road, you can tell the mark whether it's coming at you or going away from you because of its bold new grill, its high-intensity discharge headlamps with their unique blue light in the front of the car, or at the back of the car here we have a neon applique. It goes the full width of the car. Very distinctive. It's the only one in the industry. At Job 1, they signed this banner declaring the Mark 8 a world-class vehicle. We always want to do better. We're striving to do better uh, as a union and company. And I think today's indication of the changes in the car uh, clearly show that uh, we're moving in the right direction. If we're going to be in business, in the luxury field market, we've got to be competitive. And uh, in doing so, you have to surprise and delight your customers. Just satisfying the customer anymore is not enough. 
The word at this job one is that this new luxury car is sure to make its mark with customers.